Hello everyone, welcome to Codus Camp. We are at 14th day of June Lead Code Challenge and the problem we are going to cover is maximum units on a truck. So the input given here is a two-dimensional integer array and an integer variable truck size where it represents the type of boxes and the number of units inside the boxes and the truck size. And we have to fill in the boxes into the truck size that the truck size should not exceed with the number of boxes we put in and we have to return the maximum total number of units that we can put onto the truck. So let's understand this problem with an example. So here is our given input in the problem statement where we have three types of boxes where in type one, they have one box and in type two, they have two boxes and in type three, they have three boxes. And each box of type one can hold three units and type two can hold two units. That is each box two units. So total it has two box. So 2 into 2, it can totally have 4 units. And same way, in type 3, each box can one have 1 unit. And total of boxes are 3. And each can hold 1 unit. So total, it is going to hold 3 units. So now, we have to fill our truck with 4 boxes max. And we have to return the total number of units we can fill our truck with. And that should be maximum. So now, we can pick the box number 1 of type 1 in our truck so that is going to be of having units 3 so 3 plus so we have inserted one box into our truck so now our truck size has become 3 so we still have 3 more left to fill in our truck so moving on to a type 2 where we have two types of boxes and we are going to take all these two to our truck so again our truck is going to fill with 4 units because we can fill 2 units and in each box of type 2 so once we put these two into our truck, our truck size will now become one. We have only one box left to fill. So now we have three boxes of type three. So we can pick only one box out of this. And here each box can have one unit. So we can take one box of one unit. So total of eight units we can fill in our truck. Now our truck size has become zero. And eight is going to be our output. So how are we going to approach this problem is if you see the hints given in the problem statement, they have clearly gave the idea of the solution. That is, we have to fill the maximum number of units to our truck, which means we have to pick the boxes with maximum units first and then move on to the minimum ones. So to do that, we are going to sort the given array based on the number of units in the boxes and in the non-increasing order. So once we sort that that way, we are going to pick the boxes in the front or in the first indexes, then move on to the later ones. So now take the same example, our truck size is going to be 4. So this array is already in a sorted order in the example itself, but consider we have sorted it based on the number of units. So now we are going to take 1, which, is, which, is, which will give us the maximum units of 3 and again take two from the second type and we have filled our truck with three boxes by choosing the first one and the second one now the last one is left with three boxes but we have space for only one box so we are going to pick that one from this box and add its units to the units and return it so hope you're understanding this logic you'll understand once we complete the coding part so before getting into the code this is going to work in big o of n log n time complexity where we are going to sort the given array first and that is going to take log n time and then we are going to iterate the sorted array and add the values. So that is going to take big O of n time. So overall it is going to take big O of n log n time complexity. So let's go to the code now. So yes, as I said, we are first going to sort our array based on the second value in our given array. So once we sorted the array, let me declare my max units and this is going to be the output we are going to finally return. So now I'm going to iterate my sorted array. And I'm going to check if my truck size is 
greater than or equal to box of zero. Box of zero is nothing but the number of boxes of that type. So if it is greater, then we are going to subtract the number of boxes in the front or in the sorted array. So our max units is going to be the number of boxes into number of units we can put in that boxes. So that is that will be box of zero into box of one. So once we calculate the number of units, we are going to subtract the number of boxes from the truck size. So yes, this loop is going to go until our truck size is greater than the number of boxes. Like I said, once we fill our truck with three boxes from type one and type two, we are left with three boxes in type three. In that case, our truck size will become one and our box size will be three, which is nothing but three is greater than the truck size right now. So in that case, we cannot pick all the boxes of that type. Instead, we can pick only what is left as the truck size. So we are going to cover that condition here. So we are going to calculate the max units. Which is nothing but what is the truck size left into box of one, which is nothing but the number of units of that particular type. And finally, return max units. So yes, this is it. Let's run and try. Let's submit. Yes, the solution is accepted and runs in 7 milliseconds. So thanks for watching the video. Hope you like this video. If you like this video, hit like, subscribe and let me know in comments. Thank you.